I'm Loretta Sparks and this video will introduce you to the tapping points of emotional freedom techniques. We're going to be tapping on the basic recipe, uh, sometimes known as the basic protocol or the shortcut. If you have any interest in having uh, access to more information about emotional freedom techniques, I encourage you to go to my website www.selfcarepower.com. Click on the tab that says EFT and you'll be uh, taken to a site where there's a lot of information on the history of EFT, the application of it, uh, and some techniques that can deepen your experience of it. But to our task at hand, the points that we use while tapping. The first place that we tap on is what's called the karate chop spot. So called because I understand when you break bricks, which I have no experience in, but when you break bricks using karate, this is the space that you would do it in, right here on the side of the hand. So, hence the karate chop spot. We tap on here while saying the setup statement. Even though I have this problem, fill in the blank, I accept myself deeply and profoundly. Even though I have this problem with, I accept myself deeply and profoundly. Even though I have this problem, I accept myself deeply and profoundly. We say it three times. The reason we have the setup statement is to get us focused on the problem we're going to work on and to eliminate any judgment, any negative feelings you may have about yourself in having the problem. All these things can interfere with the clearing of this. So we want to be able to stay focused on it because emotional freedom techniques requires you to be clear about what you're tapping on. You can't let your mind wander. You have to be specific. You have to feel your feelings about the problem. You have to bring it all the way up. So that's why we tap on it, to try to bring it up to the surface, make the statement, even though I have this problem, try to be very specific about the problem, and then very specific about, I accept myself deeply and profoundly. Some people just say, I accept myself. Little kids sometimes say, I'm really a good kid. The whole point is that you accept yourself even though you have this problem. Then the next point we tap on is the eyebrow point. You'll find the eyebrow point just at the beginning of the eyebrow, cleverly named eyebrow point, just up from your bridge of your nose right there. I've seen people tapping on their middle forehead, but it's right there from the beginning of the eyebrow. And while tapping there five to 10 times with a soft tap, we would reiterate the problem. So this problem, this problem, we would then move to the corner of our eye on the bony part. We tap on here, focused on the problem. If it's an individual that you're tapping on, a situation that you have, try to see and feel that situation as intensely as you can. The next place is under the eye, closer to the nose, again, on the bone, on the bone. The problem, the problem. The next place we tap is under the nose, this problem, this problem makes me feel really sad. Crease in the chin, this problem makes me feel sad. The collarbone here, I feel really sad when I think about this problem. Under the arm, the arm is for uh, most uh, women about a hand span down you'll find your bra strap, that's where we're tapping. For gents, it's just that hand span down. You tap there. This problem. This problem. Then the last place we tap is on the top of our head. This problem. Now, let me review the side of the hand for the statement, setup statement, where the problem, even though I have this problem, and the acceptance, I deeply and profoundly except myself. The next place we tap is at the beginning of the eyebrow where we would state our reminder statement. Then we would move to the corner of the eye. Again, all this is on the occipital bone. Under the eye. Under the nose. Crease in the chin. The collarbone. Use the flat of your hand. Make it, you know, make it nice and firm, not pounding, but just so that you can feel it. And then under the arm. Now, it doesn't make any difference which side you tap. 
It doesn't make any difference which hands you use. Some people like to use both fingers, uh, two fingers and both hands. Uh, some people prefer just to use one. It doesn't make any difference. Now that's the basic tapping points. And again, if you'd like more information, please go to my website, www.selfcarepower.com.